For me, this is very classic of a, a bear market rally. And that's why I'm a little skeptical. I had some longs going into this. I was talking about a potential breakout. We've gotten that. But I always said it would be a breakout that would get bulls to kind of jump back on the ship. But it probably is a shorter lived bull market run uh, intra bear market, right? It seems that the bear run is over for cryptocurrency, or is it? Bitcoin has finally broken the glass ceiling of $21,000 valuation. Gareth Soloway, a world-renowned crypto trader who had accurately predicted the 2022 Bitcoin crash to $20,000, and also accurately predicted the current rally of cryptocurrencies at the beginning of this month, now gives us his predictions on what to expect next. It's really worth listening to his analysis. So let's go over to him and see what he thinks is happening in the crypto market. There hasn't been any change. You could argue that the Fed is coming to the end of their hiking cycle, but that doesn't mean interest rates are going to go back down, right? I mean, we figure the, the Fed funds policy you know, you know, level is going to remain at 5-ish percent for most of 2023. So you don't have that dropping of rates that can stimulate kind of the Bitcoin surge again, like past bear markets ending, nor do you have quantitative easing going on, both of which are unlikely to come in this year. So for me, this is very classic of a, a bear market rally. And that's why I'm a little skeptical. I had some longs going into this. I was talking about a potential breakout. We've gotten that. But I always said it would be a breakout that would get bulls to kind of jump back on the ship. But it probably is a shorter lived bull market run uh, intra bear market, right? So let me show my charts here because I think there's some cool things to look at. So number one, if we see this chart here, right, this is the bull run that we've just experienced. Incredible, right? I mean, we haven't experienced this in quite some time, but but number one, I mean, it looks big, but if we zoom out on the chart, I think it's important to keep it in perspective, right? This is what we're talking about. This is what's getting all the hype is this move up in Bitcoin. And again, like you said, very normal because people had been kind of lulled to sleep with no volatility. I think we had the lowest volatility in Bitcoin history. So it was kind of dictating something would wake things up. But again, you have to look at, okay, this is the down market and this is where we are right now. Is it anything yet to get excited about? And I'm going to tell you where I'm going to get a little bit excited. If we were to take out this high right here, which is the beginning of the FTX collapse, where we saw FTX, you know, and all the fraud and all that come to light, that's where if we could get above that psychologically, I think that would be a positive for Bitcoin. People will see an intraday move above or even a close above, get very excited, and then they'll wonder why price gets slammed back down. So you want to see price get above and actually stay there and consolidate there, right? As Gareth pointed out, the economic conditions are yet to shift sufficiently to the positive. While it's true that inflation is now down to 6.5% based on the last year-on-year -year CPI report, 6.5% is still very high. Usually, the United States has, over the decades, maintained inflation at 2%, and that's what the Federal Reserve intends to do. If inflation is to be cut down, then the Fed is ready to squeeze as much money as possible out of the economy using interest rates and fiscal policies that make it hard to get credit for business or spending. When it's hard to get credit, there's hardly any money for people to put into cryptocurrencies, and therefore, the value can't appreciate. We're still at this stage, so what's really going on? The price of Bitcoin has appreciated in the greatest leap that we've seen in many years. For two weeks straight, Bitcoin has been on the rise, first breaking $18,000 price resistance to now arrive at over $21,000 per Bitcoin. This is the longest winning streak for Bitcoin since 2017. We also saw something similar in early 2021, and we can all recall that both 2017 and 2021 were great years for Bitcoin. Is 2023 another year for Bitcoin to break its price record? Gareth Soloway thinks it's a bear market rally, and he's not alone. Other experts, such as David Rosenberg, agree that this is a bear market rally which investors must be very wary of. So, what does this mean? It simply means a short-lived rally that happens in a bear market situation. The truth is, we're seeing this rally across many markets. Even gold is up, and that hasn't been the case for a really long time. But again, are the economic conditions good enough to sustain these risk-on sentiments? The truth is that while we can appreciate the recent rally, it should be noted that Bitcoin isn't yet well over its peak before the FTX collapse. So what should we look out for as the signal that the bear run is over? 
Next, Gareth shows what this move should look like on the charts. If you look at where Bitcoin has stalled here, it's right at that level. Now, let's talk psychology of the markets, because this will be a great educational part, is that why do these levels have so much resistance? And the answer is this. Over here, you had choppy sideways to up move. You started to make moves to the upside right here, right here. A lot of people were buying Bitcoin. And then all of a sudden, that floor got just pulled out from under them. And they saw their accounts drop by 25, 35, 45%. In some alt cases, altcoin cases, it was 50%. And so what happens is when price goes back there, those people that saw their 10,000 account at 5,000, they're made whole again. And there's this psychological thing about saying, okay, I'm back to break even. Let me get out. Let me just walk away at this point. And that's why you have the technical resistance right at that level. So to me, this is the level I'm watching right around 21,500. Let's see in the next few days what happens. I actually put out a short signal on Ethereum yesterday when we were above 1550. I think we're in a position to see a pullback here. The most significant thing happening now is that Bitcoin has returned to the price region it was at before the FTX collapse brought it down. As at the 2nd of November 2021, Bitcoin was at $21,283 before the FTX collapse crashed it down to 16000 Right now we're back to this price. Can Bitcoin break away and move on significantly? If it does, can the move be sustained? These are the questions that Gareth Soloway says must be answered before we can be convinced we're in a bull market. The fear right now is that investors might withdraw their money from Bitcoin now that they're back in the green after last year's losses. We see this move all the time in traditional stocks, as Gareth would show next. You see these bear market rallies that are rip your, they call them rip your face off rallies because they're so intense and they get so much excitement from bulls. But again, if you look at the stock market, we've had moves like that. And in fact, I showed some charts earlier today. I posted one on Twitter, but basically what it was showing is that since Tesla has topped out, it had moves of 35%, 64%, 50%. And then even down here, you're at 18%, where it's, you know, here we are with Bitcoin up, what, 25, 30% off of the lows. I mean, that kind of falls right in the midst of these moves that we've seen in Tesla. And I do liken Tesla and the type of people that are investing in Tesla as the same that kind of get involved in Bitcoin and kind of have that mentality. So, so I think it's important. You could look at any stock. I mean, you could look at Apple, Amazon, a lot of them have these bear market rallies where they jump 30, 40, even 50%, but then ultimately find themselves making new lows. And so just be, I would just caution people out there. Yes, you know, yes, it would be great to know that Bitcoin has made a low pivot and maybe we're starting to head up, but I wouldn't get too excited just yet. Gareth demonstrates that this type of move happens all the time in the stock market. We're already seeing some markets crash after the recent rally. The S&P 500 has recently crashed by 600 points, which is its worst in the past month. But what about you guys? Let me know what you think about the rally in the comments below. Remember to like this video if you enjoyed, and be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on for more updates. We'll see you in the next video.